Welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, this is Jay Rodman. We are um, I'm currently parked outside the town, outside Scarabray. Outside the ruins, more accurately. Um, and it's time to... Well, we finished mapping the first level of the catacombs. So the natural progression is to continue mapping the catacombs further down. We found a stairs down. And um, I'm going to try to do that, but I will say this is the point where the introductory levels to Bard's Tale become very grindy. So we're basically in the starter dungeon. And there's a starter dungeon because, um, because th this game is designed to work for characters who are imported from Bard's Tale 2. And Bard's Tale 2 was in turn designed to work for characters imported from Bard's Tale 1. So there's an enormous amount of level creep uh, inflation uh, going on. And it would be sort of normal to finish Bard's Tale 2 around... Well, Bard's Tale 1, you might finish level 18, level 20, level 30, something like that. You might finish Bard's Tale 2 level 30, level 40, um, something like that. And we're level, well, eight? Yep, eight. So our level eight party has a ways to go to be equivalent to where they're supposed to be. If we finish the initial quest, we kind of get a reward to get bumped up somewhat towards that goal. Uh, that's actually a mixed blessing. Let me go check how much experience we need um, to get our next level. I think it's about 10,000 from where we are now. Yep, about 10,000. So... It has some auto floppy disk auto checking routine. So um, if I insert the dungeon disk A and press OK immediately, it, it just thinks it's not in yet, and then it notices that it's in. It's a little clumsy, but better than accidentally trying to load the wrong disk and getting total garbage, which is what we used to get an Ultima for. Um, time for a compass and a bard song, and we're ready to go. So, basically, traversing through this level just to get to the stairs. The problem with um, this... So at this point in the game, what happens is um, the first level of the catacombs is fairly rewarding. Uh, we haven't really hit that point yet, but we can get to a point where um, the party is not significantly threatened by the enemies and yet the experience points coming in are still kinda good going down a level um, we there's not really much more dangerous enemies but the dungeon itself is more dangerous. And the items you can collect aren't that much better. So, in a way, you're kind of encouraged to not continue to explore. happening is I'm pressing the goddamn touch bar on the Mac and that's
that's for some reason satisfying the question of who to give it to. Because the touch bar is a touch bar, so I don't have to press a key, I can just accidentally brush it and it decides I pressed a key. What a silly, not like, step backwards. Okay, I failed to identify it, but it's something that my monk could not use and my rogue cannot use. Let's check. Yeah, I think only mages can use it, which makes it mean it's what I hoped it was. It's a harmonic gem. So this is a spell point refill item. And I'll just have my mages carry it for now. Now one thing I want to try is to see whether the explosion... Oops, I didn't go that way, I went this way. ...counts as a trap. I think it doesn't. Yep, it does not. So I don't really know what you're supposed to do with them. Last time I played through this game, which was quite some time ago, I ended up just setting them off, going, ignoring them, and just walking into them. Um, Partly because they don't do that much damage, and partly because I can't disarm them. So, so, so what? What am I supposed to do? I mean, I walk around them when I could, but sometimes they're just in the way. I was watching another player's uh, playthrough of a related Bard's Tale, and I was so triggered, so bothered, rather. I shouldn't use that word that way. Um, because he didn't give his Bard any weapons or any armor at all from the beginning. It died more than once because of it. I was just like, uh, you, he's allowed to wear armor? It's not, it's not a crime. Anyway. Okay, so here's a cute thing. I put these stairs down on this level of the map, and if I switch to the next level down, the these stairs are already there waiting for me going up. I don't have to figure out where to put them. It's a nice touch. down the stairs, um, the levels don't necessarily align at all. In wizardry, early wizardry anyway, I don't know about later ones, um, and Barta 1 and 2, the dungeons were reliably boxes. They were 22 by 22 in size, they always were stacked boxes one on top of another, so if you went up lower left corner on one level, you are in the lower left corner on the next level. And this is the point where Bard's Tale really, really drives home to you that it's not going to follow that rule. Because we were at the 
very top of the, the northern edge of the map on the other previous level, and now we're in the southwest edge. We also can see that in this auto map, the dungeon is not square. It's the long rectangle. It may not seem like it matters, but it's like, but if you sort of were playing the genre at the time, you would have, you would, you would not know why, you would not know what's going on. It would, your, your expectations kind of have been flouted. You can also see here that, well, there's some other funny things. Um, we're looking north. The auto map shows um, lines here, but we can't see the lines. It turns out those are one-way walls. Um, for now, I guess I'll just not draw them. get stuck in there. That's one of the things that you can happen on this level, is you can just get stuck and not know how to get out. Uh, it feels kind of mean. For players coming from the old games, um, they might be wary about that, and they probably have their characters with all the spells to deal with that problem, but somehow it seems cruel to put down the second level of a sort of dungeon to me. enough um, copying from the auto map for now. You can also see that um, the auto map didn't show everything. It was like it showed things to a point and then it just had a big black space. clearly a continuation of the priest seek another word. And they tell you pretty clearly here that they give you access to something else. Some other somewhere. Still don't have an idea what the word is though. Other than the priest want it and has something to do with real hasty. Villains, or enemies at least, in this game, uh, they get a lot of like talking about it ahead of time, but then they don't really pay off much. Oh, there was a trap. Stuck. Now, stuck isn't that exciting a status. So I'm not sure if I really need to mark it. And if I was going to mark it, what would I mark it with? And it needs to be something that can stack with other things. I think if I put any other token down, um, it'll just replace the fact that it was trapped. So maybe I'll just put a note. Or 
what if I put a label? Can I put labels down in large quantities? stuck is when you try to move off it, you don't always. Here I am, repeatedly trying to move forward. Eventually I do. Um, this has problems. Like, for example, if it's dark and you can't see where you're going, well, how far did you move? Um, and if you press the key a lot, you might move too far when you get off it. So it's kind of more than just irritating. But mostly, mostly it's irritating. multiple group effects on three gore drillers. Or the eight gore drillers. Oh. I keep confusing them with the gore suckers, which are like hip point sponges. Anyway, I over so the I kind of overvalued the danger, and uh, they're all dead. Another shield ring. Okay, that's good. Chantal has the worst armor class of the front four. Is she already wearing a shield ring? No. So there we go. Shield ring. here and walls there but um, magic eaters which are easy to get rid of but there are lots of them and the Zephyr Lord who can represent a real problem um, I think I'm gonna try to get rid of the magic eaters fast even though even at the expense of some resources because the Zephyr Lord's wolf pack could become a real problem if I take too long. Now, they're resisting some of the spells. I think that's actually what Magic Eater is supposed to mean, is they have somewhat better resistance than other easy creatures. Oh, I got phased. I, don't, I took two damage and got phased. I don't know for sure what that means, but I think it might mean you lose your turn. So now we're down to one Magic Eater and one Wolf and one Zephyr Lord, where the Wolf is most likely to do the damage but the Zephyr Lord can keep creating more wolves. 
So I'm going to cast a Spectre Touch on him. Uh, gained a wolf, lost a wolf. So I killed a wolf, and then he resummoned a wolf. I may keep hitting wolves. Yeah, I did. That whole thing where the slot gets replaced just happened. Although at this point, uh, the wolf is doing less damage to me than my bard song is healing, so I kind of wanted that fight to drag out a bit. Another shadow shiv. Just what I... I mean, the funny thing is about those special items. Uh, the first one's great. My rogue didn't have one, but now my rogue does have one. Big upgrade. Uh, second one, garbage. Third one, garbage. Fourth one, etc. And there's an uh, a fully explained harmonic gem and a staff shield. I don't really remember who has the staff shield, so uh, I guess I'm going to go fishing for it. There's not because nothing of interest. Oak Blossom has the shadow shield, which I can drop. Canteen, probably full of water. Which I'm going to discard. And the shield staff, which I will trade to Griselda. Griselda's armor class is now six. Equip the shield staff, goes down to four. They just don't end up in combat very often, um, but enemy archers do have to hit them. So it's still worth having a decent armor class, especially when it costs nothing. something and then it didn't do anything. Huh, I thought these fights were a little more random than this. There's again ten magic eaters and one Zephyr Lord. It seems like it's a fixed thing. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, I should use the Bard song, Sir Robin's tune. And if I remember correctly, this is the tune that says you're not allowed to summon things. Uh, that didn't work. Maybe it's safety song.
Try the safety song. Sounded like the same song, but um, maybe the combat music is not specialized. And I'm going to do the healing song. Let's see if it's different. No. So, combat music all sounds the same, apparently. So he's not trying to summon more wolves, so I can't really tell whether the magic worked. It's kind of a shame. Maybe he knows the magic works and stopped trying? I don't, I don't know. No, he summons another wolf. Okay, so much for that plan. In which case, I need to stop trying to kill wolves and kill the wolf maker. Okay, the wolf maker is dead. We're really inept at killing these wolves. I took my rogue critting one get rid of it. And again, it's just so tenacious. thousand experience points. Oh, there's a second heart fire harn. That's nice. And another gris mithril plate, which is great because that's the second one that I need. Lady Oak Shield has hers. Grishnak needs hers.
that segment is a door or a one-way wall or what. gotten confused at some point. Okay, here. Okay. Here's our approximate map. <coughs> the problem is, I think, oh, well, first of all, the problem is my bard's throat is dry. And you know, my throat is dry too, so hold on a second. That was a refreshing mug of tea. Anyway, I think that <clears throat> on this level we start getting bad badness soon. And uh, I mean, by that I mean spots on the map which take away our hit points, spots on the map which take away our spell points. It's not the worst thing ever, but it definitely limits how long we can stay down here in the dungeon. Our our uh, resources get drained pretty quickly. Another harmonic gem. Okay, they're finally coming in. I don't think anything changed. I think I just... I'm getting lucky. Kill one of them? I thought we killed zero. Well, there's one dead. Two and three. Okay.
yeah, this is a spell point drain in this one square. So I'm gonna mark that as green. And furthermore, with uh, 19 and 16 spell points, I'm gonna start heading back. How am I doing for experience? Look at that IQ 8. Which is not a 100, you know, it's not a normalized square 100 in this world, but still. <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Uh, the IQ distracted me. What is what is her, what is the number? Uh, experience is four thousand six forty six thousand. Um, my target I think is fifty thousand. So that's disappointing. So I just realized um, while I was getting. and their, um, you know, progression and uh, equipment and stats and uh, experience. But you couldn't save where you were. And you couldn't save in most places. You had to go back to the place where you made your characters and save your characters. And that was the only way, that was the only idea of saving. Um, so I tend to think about these games in that structure. Like, oh, I'm in the middle of a dungeon. I can't save here. Even though it's false. As I just did it. here. So first of all, this is a silence zone, which I decided to record. Is it triangle? I mean, I, I, I just couldn't come up with much. I wanted like a, z like a speech bubble or something. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. Anyway, um, yeah, this this triangle. So we got a triangle and we also have walls here. I'll try playing a song again. So yeah. There's a silence in this square, but not in this one. I just uh Pause the game while I look for an edge to describe this. Uh, there we go. It's the wrong way, though. These are one way walls. And this seems to be darkness.
kind of worried about getting torn up by these last beasts, which means I probably should have used the fire horn. Now, I have a horn fire horn I started with, with 74 charges left, and a new one I found with 49 charges left. I kind of feel like I wish I knew more about how it decided those charges. So we took down one the fast. Slath beasts are blissfully missing most of the time. We're down to two of them. And zero nefasts. Okay, this doesn't feel that dangerous anymore. In general, all I'm really doing is um, having the first four attack and the rogue hide in shadows and then attack after hiding in shadows alternately. map I've wrapped around. But if I ask Scrysite where I am, it says I'm 23 east. So So this is a so it, because I'm 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 one to the left, right? So I'm 23 east on a 24 long grid. But um, that's from these entry stairs. I'm 23 east. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe maybe the way it works is this location is already to east and then I'm out at 24 on this grid <laughs> I, I don't really know but I do know that when I tried to push this way I hit a wall which is really what I was trying to find out lost my compass again. This is not really the best. I don't really want an un unnecessary fights right now. Where am I? I guess I'll, I don't know how to plot out the rest of the dungeon because I don't have all this connecting stuff, so I don't know how to do the wraparound, but um, I guess I'll just put it to the left for now. I went down two, and then I went, I think, and I think there was a wall here, and I think there was a door. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what that is. Uh, there was a door here, but it's gonna, it's giving me one-way doors. I want normal doors again edge. You know, I think I kind of want boxy doors for dungeons. Oh, they look so nice. Oh, look at those boxy doors. Oh, I, I love it. For the outside, I don't know why. It sort of felt wrong. Like, the 
front way into a house didn't feel like boxy door or at least not if the whole you know like the fr a, a, an open entrance to a temple does not to me feel like boxy door anyway um and then i went here and there's no darkness here but there was a message and the message is um uh annotation there's there's like a special way to see all of these um markers at once in this program but it makes it like zooms and doesn't fit on the side of the window i i don't i don't understand anyway oh sorry this program <laughs> while i'm complaining about it <laughs> i actually really like it um written in blood i don't know why blood is capitalized are large letters which spell out chaos now i don't know about you but um that sounds like the word to me. So let's cast our compass again. North is a wall or a door. It is in fact a door because I was able to progress by kicking. West is a wall. South is a wall. Back in the darkness. Kicking does not progress, so we can have a wall here. Now, next question. How the hell do we get out of here? East went right through, so we have another one-way wall, actually. the wrong person anyway. My four hip four spell point left uh conjurer can make light. But my four spell point conjurer left is also responsible for making the compass. And I think I can fit both spells in there, but that makes zero spell points left for both of those activities. So, why are these blood fiends not dying? They should be dead. They should. Their job is to die and give me the experience points. One of them has, has fulfilled his or her destiny or its destiny or hear destiny. I mean, I, I don't know much about the ecology of the blood fiend. Are they like parasitic creatures? Oh, and then of course, it's also my trap sap spells. I guess I'm gonna leave it. I don't, I'm out of spell points. It's funny how we got one gold. I guess it was just kind of one poking out of the chest. Uh, so, character seven. Have you got any way to make light? Mm. Every enchant is not one of those things. No, you have no way to do that. Uh, I could use one of my precious precious oh right it's uh how to make light
traps up, I need to not hit a trap. <laughs> so I'm out of... And there are, two, there are two traps on the way back. So I'm going to just walk into one of them, I guess. I don't want to fight these guys. We're about, by the way, we're about, um, we're about here. Something like that. Mm, run away. Oh, if I'm running away, I need Sir Robin's tune. I wonder if they licensed it. I bet they didn't. Seems pretty clear. Copyright violation. Long expired by now. Over there somewhere, running away. There's the trap. Not a bad one. Punchy stakes, just a little bit of damage spread around. There are some bad... Like you can get lulled into a... Uh, false sense of security is how we say it. Um, you hit a trap, you, you know, two characters take a little damage, that repeats a bunch of times, you may decide. Traps are not important. I don't care. Sometimes I get poisoned, whatever, I just cure it. And then suddenly you, all of your characters are stoned and insane and killing each other, and you're very sad. <laughs> I kind of want to try out the new word, but, um, uh, I have other concerns. I'm still 2,000 short. Aren't I? Is this on all characters? I think so. decided I would show some of the things I'm going to do next. So because I have to leave the dungeon, I'm going to do a little inventory. What I'm going to do, actually, is find a way to start banking items. Because for now, those harmonic gems, I could just use them, but I have a feeling that, um, I don't know, I, I don't feel safe with the current number of gems I have. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create someone. Uh, I'm going to make a monk, it doesn't really matter, and we're going to call this person Gems. There are different items that I may end up wanting to um, hoard, such as ammunition, like ex fancy ammunition that I don't need to use right away, or things I don't know what they are is a good candidate. Okay, so Grisnok has nothing to bank. I'm pretty sure almost no one does. Add. Gems. And then I'm going to give gems my gems. Item trade to gems. What's the big deal? I'm pressing five. Please go to five. Trade to gems. Is there anything else I kind of... I had a canteen that I think I threw away. There's some reasons I want 
to have a few empty containers around. Um, here is one of them on my rogue. In fact, two of them. So I'm going to make another character. called con contain containers and trade oh I forgot to add containers as the containers person Trade to seven, and trade to seven. We also have a pretty small inventory, or I just carry them around. And um, this may seem cheesy to be doing this, but I don't feel that way. Uh, I've definitely ended up in points in this game where I had a whole bunch of quest items, and other items I had no idea whether they were important or not, and there was just no reasonable way to carry th everything around. And so I started discarding things that were maybe important, but not immediately important. Oh, here's something else for... Lady Oakenshield has something for Miss, Miss Gems. And then I'm probably done, done, done for now. Uh, sometimes when there are specialized weapons that are good for some things and not others, I end up hoarding those. So I actually have two slightly different tasks to do. Because I renamed my people, the, my saved party list didn't work anymore, so I have to make, I'm going to make a new one. Uh, at, first I have to add this knock. New order, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Save the party. I don't know, they're not really noobs anymore. What are they? Um, we, we will call them the Iron Goddesses. Of Mercy won't fit. So we'll just have to leave that implied. Uh, and the way that we actually save the party members is by removing them. Even though it says save, all that does is saves a list of names in a confusing way. It's just a way to do this, saying, I want to add all of them. Done. That's all saving the party. Saving the party doesn't actually save the party members. It saves the party entries. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it here, and when by the time the next video rolls around, I'll have sat around and absorbed sunlight to fill up my spell points.